Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are gonna go thrifting. Make sure to watch until the end because this is one of my best hauls yet. So first we go into the little trinket section, which is probably my favorite because it's where I find all my little bits and bobs. Um, I love this little seashell box, but I already have like two of them. And you know, how many is too many? So I skipped that one. Um, I did love this little collection of hanging seashells. So yeah, I may have grabbed that because it would be fun for some sort of art project. I really loved this little doll beach chair. Um, I really don't need it, so I skipped it, but yeah, I wish I had one in my size.
This hat from far away, super cute. Had to do a quick hat swap. Yep, super cute. I'll take that. loved all of these pink dishes they have i was really tempted to get a few but again i don't need them we're moving i just have to keep reminding myself <laughs> And then after lunch, it was time to go to our second thrift store of the day. I spotted this little green dress from down the street and I raced over to look at it. It is really cute, such a great color, six euro. I really liked this little pink dress. It was 16 euro, which I thought was a little expensive, um, but yeah, it was really pretty. Then I saw this 60s inspired dress from the brand Pop. It's a really cute dress. At this point, I was getting pretty excited because I don't usually find really cute vintage or vintage inspired clothes um, at these thrift stores. So yeah, I was like looking really quick to try to find anything else. Then I saw this little brown and white gingham dress. It's really pretty. It has a little ruffly skirt at the bottom. And right after that was this little blue floral vintage dress. So yeah, there were so many cute ones. And then I went inside and I found these adorable kind of Chanel inspired flats in my size. I found so many great things at this one. Um, I thought I got more footage here, but I guess I just wasn't recording and I thought I was. But yeah, here I am checking out. And here is my bag of goodies. So yeah, with my little clown plant in hand, now I'm gonna try on everything. So first we have the little cream skirt. Um, it's by St. John Collection and it was six euro. And I love this because it's really swishy and like fun to just twirl around. And I paired it with an Edwardian lacy slip and a little sweater I thrifted. Then we have the gingham um, brown and white, kind of like 70s dress. Um, it's a total different style than I would usually wear, but yeah, I just thought it was really cool, really unique. Um, I threw a belt on, I added this little lacy collar I got from, I think, H&M. And I thought it just created a really cool, unique 
outfit. So yeah, I thought that was really cute. And this dress didn't have a brand, um, but it was seven euro. And next we have the blue floral dress. Um, it is so pretty. It has lovely little lace details, big puffy sleeves. Um, I just added a bell to kind of complete the look. This one is also unbranded, um, there's no tags, and it was also seven euro. But yeah, so pleased with this. I think it is just so, so cute. Next we have the Pop 60s inspired mini dress. Um, this one was 12 euro, and I just think it is super cute. Um, I just paired it with a long sleeve vintage blouse just to kind of add a little extra something to it and then I completed it with a belt and yeah I'm really pleased with how this outfit came out I think it's really cute I just need some like white over knee socks and then I think it's perfect and then lastly for the outfits we have the green pinafore dress i think this has to be my favorite outfit um the colors are just so beautiful i paired it with a thrifted sheer ruffle blouse and then just threw on a belt and yeah it's just i felt like a fairy in this dress it's it's just so pretty i can't even i can't even speak and this one i paid six euro for Then we have these cute little flats that I got. Um, they are like leather made in Italy, really cute. I don't know what brand they are because it's kind of faded, but love them. I picked up the little jar of marbles. I think they're really interesting. They're like not normal marbles. They're like speckly and shiny, so. Then I got this Sherlock Holmes book. Um, this will go nicely in my vintage book collection. This one's from 1928. If you haven't seen my vintage book collection video yet, you should definitely check it out. I have some really pretty books in there. Then I got these two little sugar bowls. Um, I know one I'll use for sugar, but the other one I'm not really sure what to use for. So if you have any suggestions, I'd love to hear it. I also picked up these funny little seashells. I think I'm gonna swap out the blue string for like some pretty cream or pink uh, ribbons and then I'll just use them as a wall hanging. So yeah, I think that would be really nice. I also found this little pouch for 50 cents. Um, it reminds me of like one of those like hosiery pouches from like the 1920s or something. So yeah, I might just use it for like hosiery. It's really pretty. Also found this little embroidery plate for one euro, really cute. And we can't forget my little clown plant, which I love so, so much. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye.